What's up guys, Justin here from TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this series, I'm going to highlight some of the tips that we talk about inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So these are going to be core principles that are going to save you a ton of time when you're modeling inside of SketchUp. So these are things that we hit on in a little bit more detail inside of the course. Um, we really get in depth with a lot of the tools. So if you're looking to take your SketchUp modeling to the next level, so you can check that out at TheSketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you want to download this model and follow along, you can go to the Norm Thompson Corporate Headquarters building from 3D Warehouse staff in the 3D Warehouse. So what I wanted to talk about is one of the ways that you can really save time inside of SketchUp is to use the array functions built into the move tool and the rotate tool. And so what those do is they really kind of make things faster when it comes to making copies of objects. And so let's say for example that we wanted to put a handrail on the front part of this building right here. So we're just going to draw a simple plate on this face right here. We'll just push pull it out and then I'll just draw a half circle on this face. And then I'm just going to extrude that up. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to call that a support. So we'll just call it handrail support. And so those are going to go on the face of your building. And so what a lot of people do in order to make copies across this face is they use the copy paste function, right? So they'll select it and then they'll do a control C. They'll do a control V, they'll move their mouse, and then they gotta kind of move everything around and make everything align with the face. And it just takes a lot of time in order to do. You can definitely do it, but there's a much faster way to create multiple copies of objects because I'm gonna be creating objects or copies along this entire face. And so the way that you can do that is you can use the move tool and use the array function. And so the way the array function works is you can activate the move tool to go into copy mode and then you can tap the control key. Well, notice how when I tap the control key, I get a little plus next to my icon. Well, the icon or the plus means that I'm in copy mode. Well, notice how now when I click, I've created a copy of the object. If I tap control, then notice how it's not in copy mode anymore. But if I move my mouse across, this has allowed me to copy an object. So if I move this here and then I click, notice how I've been able to create the copy really quickly. Right, so by tapping control with the move tool active, so M control, click, and then click again, I can create the copy of this object. And so notice how I'm having some issues here where I didn't make sure that this was along the face of your object. You do need to be kind of careful when you do that. But you can use this to really quickly create copies of different objects. So I'm gonna move this back over here so that we're kind of aligned with these reveals right here. You can also do that with multiple objects. So let's say for example that I wanted to create two or copies of two of these. Well all I have to do is do a shift click to select, tap the M key, and then tap the control key. Well now if I click and move my mouse, notice how I can create multiple copies with my selected objects. And again, I don't know why it's doing this, it's moving these off of the face of the object. But so you can create multiple copies that way. However, there's actually an even faster way to do this. So not only can you create individual copies using the move tool, you can also create an array of copies. And so the way that that works is let's say that we had one of these objects that we wanted to copy one, two, three, four times. Well, what we can do is we can activate the move tool, tap control to get into copy mode. Then I'm going to single click and move my mouse making sure that this is along this face. So maybe what I'll do, one thing you can do is you can set your base point anywhere on your model. So for example, I could click on this line and then tap the control key and notice how that inference point allows me to make a copy along this line. Well now, if I click and I wanna make sure that I don't hit anything else on my keyboard, now I can type in times with the star key and the number of copies I wanna make with that spacing. So if I hit times, and then let's say we typed in a value of four, or it's gonna create four copies with the spacing that I set from here to here. So notice how now I have these additional copies 
over here. So it's really easy to create those copies using this tool in copy mode. And so one other thing, if I undo this, is not only can you do that with multiplication, you can also do that with division. So let's say that I was to create a copy by clicking, moving my mouse, and then clicking again so that I'm aligned with this front face. I can also type in divided by so the forward slash key, and then the number of copies I wanna create. So I could type in divided by three or divided by four. Notice how I can adjust the number of copies. Um, as long as I don't click somewhere else, um, I can type in divided by, and then a number of copies. And I can adjust the number of copies that I'm creating. So notice how you can use the array tool to really quickly create these copies right here. And so you could do the same thing to create like a glass panel in here. So let's say I was to activate the rectangle tool right here, move my mouse over. Let's say I wanted this to be a glass panel that runs from here directly across to here on this object. So something like this, I'll push pull it just a little bit, maybe like an eighth of an inch. And then I'll just make that a component. And we'll just call this glass panel. And then I'm just gonna move this. And then I'll just take this and I'll move it so that it aligns with this plate, like this. And something's weird with this model, with the way that it's aligned. I think they haven't quite aligned the building with the actual model axes, which is why everything's a little bit messed up. We'll just manually fix it right here. If you guys are interested, I could show you how to do that in another video as well. But let's say we wanted to create the copy of this panel right here. Well, all we have to do is just use the move tool in copy mode and do the same thing, right? So I'm just gonna move my mouse over here. Single click, and then type in times four and hit the enter key. And so we'll have to adjust this one panel because it kind of overlaps a little bit, but notice how you can really quickly create those copies using the array function of the move tool. And then finally, let's say that we wanted to create a circular array. So let's say for example, that we wanted to bring in maybe like a piece of furniture. So let's say that we wanted to bring in a bench. And we'll stick with products. Maybe an outdoor bench, like this one right here. Whoa, 33 megabytes, we do not want that. This will work. We'll bring this bench in and we'll place it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this bench so, it, so that it fits kind of around a central point over here. And so let's say that we didn't wanna create copies of these benches in a linear fashion, let's say we wanted to create them in a um, circular fashion. So SketchUp also contains a function inside of the rotate tool where you can create copies along an arc. So to do that, you just wanna activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key. You just do the same thing where you tap control in order to create the rotate tool or to put the rotate tool in copy mode. Well, notice how now I can use this to really quickly create a copy. So let's say that I wanted to create a copy at 60 degrees from this central point. I could just click right here. Well, remember that this works in the same way as the linear array. So what I can do is I can type in a value times, and let's say we wanted to create five copies. You could type in times five, and this allowed me to really quickly create copies along an arc inside of this model. And so because those are components, I could delete out that note really quickly. Notice how you can use the rotate tool to create copies along a circle, as well as along a linear function inside of SketchUp. So in this series, I'm gonna highlight a few of the tips that you can find inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So there's a lot more information in there. Um, there's like 14 hours of instruction on SketchUp in that course. So if you're interested in learning more, really uh, focusing on taking your SketchUp game to the next level in this next year, then make sure you go check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.